So One UI 6 has been out for a little bit of time now, and I wanted to go and kind of give you a basic tutorial of some of the most amount of features that Samsung has given us within this version of software. And I'm very happy about it because it's such a good version of software, and if your phone supports it, it's very, very good. Now, one of the first things Samsung has given us within Android 14 and One UI 6 is the capability of now changing out our clock size a little bit more. So now we have the capability within One UI 6 of editing up our specific time a little bit more. So if you want to, you can resize it, and it looks a little bit different now than it did kind of like a few Android versions ago. So you can go through and change this and edit this up however you want to. That's one of the, I would say, minor things they've given us in this One UI 6 update, but it's still very cool. Android 13, Android 12 brought a lot of stuff here, so it's just kind of adding on top of that. Now, you may have noticed this already, but One UI 6 gave us kind of a newer layout within our particular, you know, quick panel toggle. So they've now given us a little bit more capability here, which is very cool. So our button layout here is a little bit different. So you can see right here, we have uh, buttons that are now changed. So before it was a little bit of a different type of color. Now the color scheme matches basically what you kind of see actually in older versions of TouchWiz, which is kind of funny, but I actually like it. I think it looks pretty cool. If we scroll down one more time, you can see the layout is very, very different. So now we have our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles separated at the very top, which is still nice. You have the three toggles up at the very top as well. Our brightness is at the bottom and it's consistent with our brightness. So we can change these specific toggles up here and our brightness still stays at the very bottom right here. You can go through and change these particular two modes here. And you also have your device options at the very bottom as well if you want to go through and change those things. And the thing I like the most here is that if you actually swipe up, your brightness is still there. So I don't think the brightness was there before, but now you have the brightness there without having to swipe down one more time, which is actually very, very cool. And another thing is, is that you now have the capability within your notifications of sorting your notifications by time. So you don't actually have to go through and like actually change that out. You can basically just go through and have your you know notifications sorted by time instead if you actually want to go and go down that direction. It's actually very cool. Another big thing is that our icon labels have now changed a little bit. So they're supposed to be a little bit more simplified, which actually looks kind of nice. And I think that's actually kind of a big thing that, you know, Samsung kind of did here. Now, another option is, is that Samsung gave us a new font style. So if we make our way over to our settings, we now have a new font, which is called typeface. So if you go into your font options right here under font size and style, if we click on our font style, you can change it to typeface. So if you actually want to download it, you should be able to see it. And that's a really cool thing that they actually ended up giving us. So I think that's an awesome thing. I love being able to go through and basically, you know, having new fonts and new changes. That's another really cool thing. Now, another big thing they gave us is within our emojis. So now we basically have a bigger change here, which I would say is within our emojis, it does look slightly different. So if we go and tap on our emojis here, they do look a little bit more like iPhone emojis, which I think I actually prefer. Before I would say I would say you know, Samsung emojis were good. You know, I like them a lot. But now they actually look a lot nicer, and I definitely probably would say I like these ones maybe more than even the Gboard ones, which is funny. We can still download Gboard on this particular phone, but it's actually nice that they gave us this type of capability of like kind of focusing on the emojis a little bit more because I know a lot of people love emojis on their Androids. So that's another really cool thing that they gave us. Now there's a couple of new widgets, like weather widgets and everything. The camera application actually got a lot of new updates and a lot of new changes. It may not look like it from here, but you can even see from the bottom bar, it looks a little bit different than it did before. Now, we basically have the quick access to resolution settings. So if you want to quickly change your resolution, you can do that here by at the very top. You can just type on three fourths if you want to quickly change those things out. You can now scan documents a lot easier. There's a new auto FPS setting for videos, and there's quality optimizations for our photos and videos too, which is so awesome. And you should be able to keep your pictures at level with some new features that Samsung has given us here too, which is a very cool thing. Now, on top of that, I don't know if this came with One UI 5 or One UI 6, but within the gallery application, we can now not only make stickers of our you know, photos, so I think this came before, but you can now make stickers from videos. So if you want to, you can go ahead and hold down on an image like this, just like on iPhones, or you can drag and drop a sticker just like so. Now, I think, like I said before, this works in videos as well now too within One UI 6, so that's a very big deal. I actually like that a lot. I don't know why this is so blurry, but if you want, you could hold something down. Okay, here we go. If I hold something down, if I like pause, I should be able to hold down on something hopefully and make a sticker. And it did work just for a second there. So as you can see, I can hold this down, make a sticker from a video. And that's actually so cool. That in and of itself is a very, very cool thing. That is something that I actually like a lot within this particular option. 
Now, on top of that, Samsung Internet got some big updates. Bixby, you know, got some updates as well. Nothing really that a lot of people will end up using for the most part. Within the My Files application, this is pretty big. We now have the capability for the most part of actually going through and having a little option that allows us to give us a little bit more, I guess, like free storage space cards that comes up. So basically, if you want to, you can go ahead and basically free up storage space from your Android phone by clicking on the little toggles that come up. So that's actually something that's very cool as well. We didn't really see that before, but now we have that type of capability, which I think is actually very, very cool. Now, those are some of the big changes, I would say, for the most part that Samsung has kind of given us. I think it's a very cool thing. I'm very, very happy for them to go ahead and kind of give us this type of capability. And at a high level, that's kind of how to use One UI 6. It's not anything super crazy, but it's essentially how to use it here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.